Uh, hi, this is Jay and B on the Rocks. This is a show with stupid music and stupid people, and I'm Jay, one of those stupid people. I'm your bartender. And my name is B. I'll be your editor this evening. Yes. Oh, and, and you know what? I don't have to talk nearly as loud tonight, because look, we've got little microphones pinned to our bodies. Yes, yes. yes. So we're, here we are videotaping at an undisclosed location undisclosed. somewhere in Bloomington, Indiana. Yes. Heartland of the USA. So. Um, here I am about to make a drink for this television show, Jay and Beyond the Rocks. This is going to be called a Carolina. Now, you may be wondering, why are they making a Carolina when they're making this TV show in Bloomington, Indiana? Well, I'll tell you why as I mix this drink. Pour three ounces of tequila over ice in a glass. Okay, so here's one of them, and here's another, and we'll just continue to mix this up. And look what's about to come out of that bottle. Did you see it? I wonder who's going to get the worm. What we're going to do is we're going to crack this this uh, this little egg here, and uh, and get the egg white out this way. Now, see that's an egg separator, a as as it's known in the common parlance. Um, okay, so as you can see, the uh, the egg yolk has stayed in the little container here. I'll just uh, get rid of this egg yolk. in my own special way. Yes. So I'm going to pour half of this into here and half into here. As you can tell, I failed to make that measurement correct at all. You're, you're thinking right now, ah, so Jay was saying before that he's going to explain why this is Carolina, and yet he hasn't, and he's not going to do it. But he is. He's going to tell you right now as he adds the grenadine. Um, th this program here, as you may have seen in the little introduction, is called B's summer vacation. B, in fact, went with uh, Christy Paxson and a couple of other characters down to Myrtle Beach. This is vanilla extract, just to add a little bit. Um, went down to Myrtle Beach in South Carolina. Carolina, you get it? Do you understand? All right, you're quick. All right, so add a little bit of cinnamon. Now, that's a lot of bit. Now, you may wonder why these dumb fucks in Ca Carolina put egg whites in their drinks. It's because they're all assholes. I just think that may be the worst thing that I've ever tasted in my entire life. Bartender! It's supposed to be... Bartender, my ass! It was supposed to taste good with cream and stuff in it, but what happened? <laughs> well, actually, um, she said that just a moment ago, and I, I have checked uh, the authoritative uh, source on this, and in fact, it does say one ounce of cream. Um, so, so I have failed you. Uh, but expert mixologist. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I, I was wondering what was what could have been so wrong. Okay, so B's summer vacation. I'm B, and this was my summer vacation. Could you hold me out here? With a map here, Jay. Map assistant Jay. Yes, yes. If you see here, there's a big green line from Bloomington, Indiana, down to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and that's where I went for vacation. Uh, and What's I'm, the green I'm, line? The green line is our trip down there. And Why is there this uh, section that goes off? Did you go the wrong way? Man, quit distracting me with all these Sorry. ridiculous questions of yours. The, the point is that we had a trip down there, and we wanted to share with you a little footage there. We stopped at one of these giant, cheesy road stop things where there was just 1,001 items that you could purchase. It was gigantic. Oh, let me show you my giant, cheesy road stop. We're at the first of the many, many stops that don't really have names. This one's called Travel, Restaurant, Eat, Restroom. So this is the first of the generic, you know, things. Part of Americana. And, yeah, this is like Travel Americana. And then if you decide you want to get hit, Sounds like I, I hear some it's roaring. It's like... Kentucky, and this is what it looks like. <laughs> uh, 
satu pagi Okay, so here we are in another fine restroom here on our trip, and uh, but we've encountered some some problems here, and I want to show them to you. Well, first of all, there's this toilet. I mean, if that's not a problem, I don't know what is. And then, of course, we've got the urinal. Looks like there's a just a, a tiny bit of gum in there. This is uh, just well. This is obviously not a high maintenance restroom. God, this this really is an awful drink. Yeah. So so here's to oh, to perseverance because we're gonna drink them anyway. We're toughing it out, even though these drinks were made wrong, and even though they taste like shit, we're gonna drink it anyway, and we encourage you to do the same. Yeah, yeah. So B went to Myrtle Beach. Now a lot of you may have gone to Myrtle Beach. It's a fairly popular vacation spot. Yeah, yeah. I've never Coast. been there before in my whole life, but. Now that I've been there once, I, it's an experience I'm never going to forget. I promise you that. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about your experience in Myrtle Beach. Well, um, there was this big beach, see? And when we were um, hanging out there, we often went out to the beach because that was the main attraction. See, there was an ocean and a beach. Oh, yeah. yeah and that's the why they call it Myrtle Beach, actually, is because of, uh, of the beach. And I'm not sure about the Myrtle part. I'm not tan enough. I want to wait till my face peels and my bone is exposed. I'm not tan enough. Honey, I think you're shadowing me with my camera. You know, Bart, that camera of yours could be a real tool for getting us chicks on the beach. Anyway, that beach that you were just watching, let me tell you, um, even though we tried to make sure, we, we soaped ourselves down with various liquids and stuff like that and tried to make sure that that old sun didn't burn us, but nevertheless, we did get burnt, as I think some of our video yeah, footage yeah. will testify quite clearly. And in honor of that, Jay was going to mix. Oops. Well, there's a disaster. <laughs> Jay and Beyond the Rocks, where we mix drinks on the floor. OK, now, very, uh, pick up that Maker's Mark whiskey, and let's make sure that that very important bottle didn't get damaged. Yes! We're OK. These breakaway bottles, they're not, they're, they're expensive. Actually, yeah. we have to make our own because we have a very low budget. We break yeah. bottles, glue them back together with super glue, and then drop them on the floor in just the right way. They, yeah. they shatter beautifully. Yeah. That was expertly planned. Thanks. Thanks. And congratulations on a, a well pulled off special effect. Bravo. Thank you. Bravo. Thank you. Thank you. Right. 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 Yes. OK. Yes. OK. So this next drink I'm going to make going to be called an 80 proof sun protection. What you're going to do here is add some ice to your to the glass that you're mixing in. Put plenty in because you've got plenty. If you don't have a lot, go buy some because you know you're supposed to be mixing along with us. That, that's the whole point of the show. If you're not getting involved, then you suck and 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 you're fired. So anyway, 80 proof pr sun protection. Now what you're going to add is is an ounce and a half of Malibu rum. Now, Malibu rum is, is a, is a grain-neutral spirit with tropical coconut flavor. Now, the reason that this, that this makes a really funny thing is because, smell this. Can you smell it? See, it's, it smells like Hawaiian Tropic suntan lotion. So add, you know, add, add about an ounce and a half of this. Now, this stuff isn't 80 proof. This is, in fact, 48 proof. Um, which is considerably below 80 proof. But if you add enough of this 90 proof bourbon whiskey, you'll be just fine. So add another ounce and a half or so. Um, you do the math, figure out what it takes to get, get the, the total content, the average content of your drink up to 80 proof. Yeah, this, this is going to be a stiffy and a biggie because we're big people, as you can see from this, this, this uh, incredible camera angle that you're seeing here. Big people. Here we go. Wow, I would pronounce that as, as distinctly protective. So here we are in this basement talking to you about Bee's summer vacation. Yeah, we're at, uh, well, this is a basement, but it's in an undisclosed location somewhere yes. here in Bloomington. We're not going to tell you exactly in where. In Bloomington, Indiana, yes. Because it's not really important. 
Yes. In fact, we're thinking about a place on the other side of the country, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, yes. a place where capitalism has gone mad. Mm -hmm. And I think that some of the footage that you're seeing hell, right now uh, testifies to that fact. I mean, there is not yeah. a square inch of Myrtle Beach that isn't occupied by some commercial endeavor, whether it's yeah. a hotel, a store, or just an advertisement for mm -hmm. a restaurant. God, capitalism gone amok. Capitalism gone fuck. I don't know what to think about this crazy place. He, 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 he. I in Dallas, you two vazi livi loco vige, levi ziti vani a levi a go levi a a a a a zini pa yezi a vila zi pa yi vagini a razi bizi a ziotni a ni zarajun la vi a iri vazi mje levi a oji nai bi kavi vi a yole. I love in the Vazila, the Kalivis in the Vazia, Kalavis, in the Verinda, Paini, Alovi, Ahoe, Ahi, Ale, Naila, Mehi, Ale, Hi, Amaizi, Ala, Bozi, Agavi, Aine, Ala, Viani, Avi, Pai, Navi, Ai, Apai, Avini, Alepi, Apai, Leviani, Apai. Koi na vizi ni la vi e la ni e la ni e ni o le ni e na ni e ni a ni si ho ni na ni na ni e pa i ni si a ni ho si ni e na hi va hi ni e na si na vi ni e na li vi ni ha pi a ni hi a ni si a ni ha in de vo si a le si ni a in de vo si na. Nothing on me, buddy. All right. There's nothing to see. We're wrapping it up. It's all over. There's nothing to see. There's nothing to see. Everything is secured. There's nothing to With that in mind, we'd like to show you a, 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 a yet another of the capitalist endeavors that yeah. that have been undertaken in, in uh, where's Myrtle that? Beach. Myrtle yeah. Beach, a little slice of South Myrtle Beach Carolina. that I brought back with yes. me right here to this undisclosed location in Bloomington, Indiana. Jay, bartender Jay, please, why don't you show us? Well, what actually, what we have here is Myrtle Beach Lager. Here. Nothing could be finer than a beer from Carolina. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to taste this beer, which we have imported here to this undisclosed location in Bloomington, Indiana. Um, now, uh, and because from, we are from such, Beach. yeah, and we, because we are such connoisseurs of alcohol uh, and, and and beer, of course, we're going to give you our distinct, uh, distinctly learned impressions of this beverage. Now, you'll note that this is a twist top bottle. That's because uh, people in South Carolina are pretty. Uh, uh, uncultured and and uh, so they don't th need things like um, like bottle openers in their pants. This is one of the best ambers in the country. Well, I've already started drinking my Myrtle Beach beer and it's good. Mmm. Nope. Mm. I would pronounce that as well. The aroma is definitely malty. Um, I'd say it has a, a yeah. touch of hops. It has a rich gold amber color with a full foamy head. Well, now how can you tell that? You haven't even poured it out of oh. the bottle. Oh, I get, yeah, that's true. Gosh, I must be reciting um, advertisements that are on the side of the box here. The shag, the beach, the golf, the beer. The hey, you know what? I've got so much sand in my crotch, I think if I'd, you know, let it stay in there, for um, a little while, I could make a pearl. And then I wouldn't have to get pierced because I'd have something right there. A pearl? Yeah. In your clam? Yeah, my bearded clam. Amanda, you're, you're hurting Art. I don't think that's right.
So this is just your corner. Y'all come down and see us. This is Mike's place. So you just kind of hang out here or what? Yeah, it's kind of nice. Um, right now the sun's shining on me, but it's usually that that uh, three foot expansive roof for about you know half an hour a day provides a lot of shade. It's, you know, I mean you know it's not much, but you know it's it's mine. In spite of some of the capitalism gone to mad things that you've been seeing, a muck, a muck, a mad yes. <laughs> I've, at this point in the show, we've had a few drinks and, and we're feeling very comfortable. And very at home with you, the home viewer. Yeah, and my mind has definitely achieved a more relaxed state. Yeah, yeah. I like that. So in spite of all this capitalism bullshit, South Carolina is 43rd in the nation in per capita income. Now, 43, 43rd, curiously enough, it is, South Carolina is also 43rd in the nation at its high school graduation rate. Wow. Well, that seems like it could possibly be related. Yeah, well, about 68.3% of Carolinians, I guess you'd say, uh, graduated from high school sometime. I guess that's the adult population, yeah. South Carolina's got a bit of a problem there. The high school dropout rate doubled between 1986 and 1990. Well, fucking A, I wonder why that is. I don't know. It must be because of the spring break mentality, which has just kind of pervaded that state. <laughs> I don't drink. I don't drink. I'm a sober motherfucker. So is it real loud up here? What's up, man? What's up, man? Party! Hey, y'all got any? Hi. My name is Tara, and I'm in Oklahoma. Hi. What's my name? What's my name? Oh, there's no telling. Probably a lot of inebriation is going on. Inebriation. A lot of fornication. I'm sorry, you got a girlfriend, right? Yeah, this guy. Hey, she has a nice, you're a lucky man, you're a lucky man. Oh, she has a nice butt. We're getting married, too. And then, Can you see my big nose there? What are you filming for? Fruit soaked in Everclear for an hour. Oh, good. wow. Well, now I think that's a healthy snack. It is. Yeah, well, you get some see? vitamins there. It's, it's good, it's oh, good and bad. You get fruit and bad. Hey, it's good and bad. Wow. Okay. Where are you from, Jim? Indiana. Philly, man. Well, I actually been playing the beach all night, and we are waiting for a ride. Supposed to miss here and they haven't showed up and we were playing for that group group over there oh, yeah? and we got kind of bored with it so we decided to hide from them so we just came over here and just started kicking back in the grass like dumbasses. <laughs> Jamaican Motor Inn. We weren't welcome, but we're coming here anyway. Let's be daring. Let's see what kind of posh, whoo, look at the lightning, posh environment the Jamaican has. Now, mind you, I haven't rinsed off my feet yet, but I'm gonna head and I'm gonna walk in it anyway. No, we're not members, huh? This is the Jamaican kiddie pool. Very strange, but the kiddie pool is about 10 degrees warmer than the adult pool. Oh well. These lighted trees help the Jamaican 
in many ways. It, you know, the, the weary traveler sees these lit up palms and says, hey, the Jamaican is just the kind of place I want to stay. I thought we were going to have trouble with the old Jamaican, but look, it's in a whole open air affair. A treat Mecca right here for us. Don't go around hungry. You know, that's something I never do. Whoops. <laughs> that's what I think about you and your hotel. Wait, but there's another drink that you were going to make for us. Oh, in, yes! In celebration Gosh, of this whole the, southern thing. The plan. essence of, 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 of southern culture. We are going to make a drink that we've been, we've been holding back on all these years because we knew uh, that there would be an appropriate time for it. And now we have reached that time. The mint julep. Um, so here, here, here's your, your bartender, Jay, in this, this quick edit that will, go, will come here, preparing that drink for you. I'm crushing the ice here for this uh, drink. As I said before, we're making a mint julep. If you're going to go to the trouble of making a mint julep, you've got to do it right. And one of the things that you've got to get right is uh, using real mint. So um, that's what we have here in this nice little plastic bag, which has been tied up with a green bow by our friend, mint assistant, um, Diane Grochek. You, you want to use about uh, 20 mint leaves per drink. So if you're making two of these, as I am, you'll want about 40. 40. Hey, look. While I'm tearing up this mint, which as you can see is getting a little bit bare, you can see that my friend Editor B has shown up on the set with his Myrtle Beach lager. Now, you may be wondering why he has appeared all of, the, all of a sudden before I've completed this drink. Well, the truth is he's done this because um, he, he is concerned that, that, uh, ab about the, uh, the expediency of the, this drink preparation. And so he is, is physically coming in as an editing, editing presence. And so watch this edit. Yeah, you'll be amazed. This drink may take a while to make in real time, but here on TV, it goes just like this. Now what you're going to do, as they say in the common, common parlance, is muddle the leaves. That is to say, you just squish them up a little bit. If you've got a mortar and pestle, obviously that would be the the tool of choice. If you've got a blender, that may be the, the best way to do it. We have failed to, to have something of that sort, so what we're going to do is just do this by hand, like they did in the Old South. If you're really going to do this the right way, you need to do it in some kind of silver cup, preferably pewter. This is this is sterling silver, What's that but say? it'll do, do OK. So I'm just spooning some of that mint in, and then I'm going to put some of the liquid in. The, what you're supposed to do is add this um, just so that it's almost to the top. Now you want to stir this around, stir this concoction, and taste it. Wow. I would pronounce that as distinctly worth the trouble. Well, we also brought back with us from Myrtle Beach some of the local art. And I just wanted to share that with you. What we have here, we found this kind of dis dis discarded for some reason in, Zoom in. in, a, in a trash can. I'm not <laughs> sure uh, why someone would have thrown away some, such a fine work of art. But as you can see, this is a picture of Sebastian Bach, mm. the lead singer of that, that uh, popular heavy metal band Skid Row. Popular? Glenn. Glenn. Wait, I thought they sucked. We also have. This, this is a picture of, as you can see, Ed. Oh, that's Ed. Good old Ed with the gun. Look no. what he's doing with his left hand, though. Yeah, Ed. Ed he's grabbing his testicles. We also had, uh, we met a, another friend there. I made another friend named Jay. A Jay what do you mean? fish. Oh, yes, a the jellyfish. jellyfish, as a matter of fact. And we called him friend. the Milky Ways, but we do have a dead jellyfish. <laughs> we think it's dead anyway. Shit, man, I hope we're not killing it. <laughs> Friend! <laughs> okay. But you know what? I bet Cole's friend will feel good on my sunburn. Woo! <laughs> Tastes 
You know, you get sucked in the jaw when you go out to see one of them rocking bands. Come back, got to put a, got to put a damn frozen jellyfish on. One of them rocking bands. Friend check. Fuck. He's messed up. Bye, friend. <laughs> Stuck to the plate? Yeah, I think that we can pry it loose with this. Yeah, no problem. Drag me with the spoon. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna remove the flour. A little zit cream and poison ivy medicine for me. So this is a, a frozen jellyfish, and we're gonna throw it off of our balcony. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? She tongued it. Ooh. Now the theory is that but I'll die the now. jellyfish are 99% water, so you'd think yeah, but human it would beings are too, and they wouldn't pretty much water. shatter, huh? Like oh. ice upon impact. Oh, maybe we don't want to turn have that light. On. Yep. Oh yeah, we do just for the filming. We'll turn it off right away. Okay. Excuse me. The audience. Here we go. Uh, well, that was great. Dramatic. Well, looks like we lost a little bit of the top of Friend, and, well, Friend has come apart there. Ooh, and you see the insides now of the frozen jellyfish. This part is pretty weird. I always wanted to know what was in the inside of Friend. Oh, well, now you realize the jellyfish was dead already. It's a shame, isn't it? Wasteful years of youth. I thought we could all band together and be a peaceful, loving nation, but obviously we just aren't ready yet. We're not ready for that sort of love. Well, that's what we did. We fired a gun into the open crowd. And by God, it, it hurts. Absurdity is what we experienced here. Everybody needs a little absurdity just to remind them. But you need to shake it up a little, you know, have a little fun every now and then. It's too sunny here. I'm glad we don't live here all the time. I like it back in the clubs where it's dark. There's only one. I need to see your hands like this. Come on. I need to see your hands for and sing this song. Come on. I love this man's music in this song. We got another show coming up. Stick and stay, don't go away. This is for everybody out here today. Listen up, come on. This week's vocabulary word is ghost poopy. Ghost poopy. Now, now, obviously, this is a little bit of a delicate topic to address in a, in a family-oriented show like ours. So, Jay, since you are, after all, a master of such things. Of subtlety. Yes. Yeah, perhaps you could explain to us exactly what a ghost poopy is. Well, when you're taking a shit and, uh, and, and you, like, start to wipe your, your uh, sphincter or your, your asshole basically, with paper, some kind of like toilet paper, and you look, and instead of some kind of like brown, uh, uh, like smeared scum on the paper, there's nothing. At you all. don't see anything, nothing, nothing at, all. at all. Just plain white paper. That is when you have experienced the love and compassion 
of the ghost poopy. It's a ghost well, poopy. When you go take a shit and then you go to wipe and you don't get nothing on the paper, that's a ghost poopy. And then there is uh, one last thing that we needed to say, and that's goodbye. And we'll see you next week. Um, actually, if you want to contact us or send in any kind of like video or get involved in our television show as uh, in whatever capacity that you wish, call us uh, or write to us. Jane Beyond the Rocks, P.O. Box 3241, Bloomington, Indiana, 47. Oh, two. Oh, two. Oh, two. <laughs> oh, two. All right, you got it. it. Oh, two. oh, my God. It's a popsicle. The best way to end a summer vacation show is with a popsicle from, from, um, America. Geraldine. Geraldine. But she's the popsicle. Special popsicle consultant. Hey, Geraldine, come over here and get on camera as our popsicle consultant. Look, it's Geraldine. She's, she's. she's Standing right there. Um, so, thank you, is what I have to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A harem of luscious girls. Cut right, pixie nude. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Hot damn. That's pretty Place 50 cents in the candy machine. Michael. He received a Mars bar. Hoobly, 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 hey. And another boy received a cup of coffee. Oh, bleebly, hoobly, bleebly, hoobly, 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 ho
That was a beautiful harmonica song. I'm Amanda. Uh huh. Mine was Mike Will Powell. Uh huh. And where's that? And Mono Beach. 1993 graduation.